Hello there, Paul Tranny here, and I want to talk about NFTs and really show you what they are and what they mean to the creative or digital artist. Because what do you do today? You create artwork, you upload it to Instagram for, for likes, I guess. That's how it currently works. Well, imagine uploading that to a marketplace as a non-fungible token. So it's going to be one of a kind can't be edited and it's part of the blockchain. So there's only one of them as if there's a, a only one painting on your wall, even though there might be photos of it, right? So that's the idea. It gets a little bit more complex than that because what you need to do is you actually, first off, need to get a cryptocurrency wallet like MetaMask. That's what I use. That's what a lot of sites use. You load that full of Ethereum cryptocurrency because it costs a gas fee. Uh, or a tokenization fee to go ahead and mint this. So uh, the other day it cost me over $200 to mint a piece uh, on this marketplace. There are many marketplaces, right? But there we can set a price, create an auction, do all sorts of things, right? Sell a limited number. In fact, that's the one I'm gonna check out right now. Let's jump out to Super Rare. Super Rare is great because they really sort of uh, vet their artists and designers. We can see right over here, um, uh, perfect landing uh, is for, this is the last sale price. There's an auction going on right here. Uh, and then there's a reserve price put down for this one. But really what you could do is once you are accepted to this marketplace, you can go ahead and tokenize, upload and tokenize your own, like I'm doing right now. It's storing this particular artwork. As we can see, we'll see that load in. And uh, the short of it is, as we can see, there it is. Right down here, this is where we issue the token. And here we're saying, hey, you know what? This is original artwork. It's not on any other marketplace, even though technically it could be, but this is the only place where it is, right? So we can begin tokenization, and this is where money comes into play because this is gonna cost some Ethereum. That will pop up in a second, right? But uh, while that's doing its thing, let's just kind of jump over to some artwork. There we go. Popped up right now. We can see this is the MetaMask extension. It's costing me 140 bucks roughly to go ahead and tokenize this piece uh, to get it in a marketplace. So let's just pretend like I did that. Let's go to creations because that's where it will pop up right in here. We can see a uh, number of examples. In fact, we can see this one in the middle. If we take a look, we can set a list price, start an auction or transfer it. This is an auction that's going on where the reserve has already been met, one Ethereum. Here's one that's already sold. So this is fascinating. As we take a look at this one, lovely little animation down there. We could see the original list price and then it was resold. You can see this person turn around and resold it for uh, almost over one Ethereum and made some money off of it. The cool thing about uh, Super Rare is you get actually 10% off of each resale as well. Uh, but the, probably the most important thing is that creatives are really sort of uh, getting value for their work. And that's, uh, I'll close with observations, you know. Um, the NFT that gets sold doesn't give the buyer copyrights. Keep that in mind. Those with an audience and those into crypto art are kind of making money. So just because you upload it doesn't mean you're going to make money. And you can only attach one JPEG or one video to the blockchain, even though you, you can give away other freebies with it if you want to. And of course, explore the environmental ramifications and what's taking place there. Uh, but have fun, do your research, and uh, thanks so much for watching.